is Nick Shelton and Bill Babcock with Michigan Pool News, and uh, we are doing a COVID-19 slash State of Michigan update on um, how this whole thing is impacting public swimming pools. Uh, Bill and I reached out to the four uh, Metro Detroit local health departments, that'd be Wayne County, Washtenaw County, Oakland County, and Macomb County. Did I get them? Yes, sir. We spoke with all four of the heads of those departments, and we also contacted the state of Michigan, uh, the, the Eagle office up there, and spoke with the representative that we deal with frequently, and just tried to start to feel this thing out. There's obviously a lot of questions going on revolving around the disease and, and what's next. We're obviously through Memorial Day now with a shutdown order, and we just tr are trying to pull information together to give it to you folks so that we can uh, start to know what to expect. So, Bill, why don't you get us started? The consensus, is to be positive and let's talk about opening our swimming pools and when we use the word opening our swimming pools it doesn't necessarily mean we're opening it to swim okay we're opening to the public what we're talking about is opening your swimming pool so that that swimming pool we know the operation is functionable and that your own body of water doesn't become a cesspool within and around your own community which all the health departments and the head of eagle uh, would all agree and have uh, agree with the fact that keeping your swimming pool open so that it doesn't create another issue it doesn't mean you're open to the public it just means the pool is open functioning properly and we keep that water moving and clean as you move forward to the hot sunny summer months in the state of Michigan and and and, and I think it's important to remember that we don't know what that looks like yet, but we're working on it, right? We are working on right now what that looks like. If you don't plan to open to the public, but what we can do for your pool to maintain your warranty on your winterizing, to make sure that that pool is safe and doesn't go septic like Bill was talking about, to make sure that the seals and the pumps don't dry out and that that thing is going to be ready to go when you do open back up because you will open back up. We're working on that right now, so more to come on that. Uh, what we also did was got some major clarification that is uh, new information as of last Friday. Uh, public pools have obviously been absent from the executive orders. They haven't been spoken to directly. That changed as of last Friday. The governor did clarify to the state um, Eagle office that pools are considered quote unquote public amusement. Public amusement is spoken to directly in executive order 69, which is an extension of the stay at home order, and they are for sure closed. So there's a lot of folks out there right now that I think are under the perception that because they might be a part of a golf course or part of a country club that has golf associated with it because golf opened back up. Hey, campgrounds. Well, campgrounds is another big one that they spoke to on the phone call with the DEQ. Uh, that's not accurate information. Unequivocally, as we sit right now, public swimming pools are closed through Memorial Day weekend and closed until the 28th unless something changes between now and then. So that was a huge one for us because there was a lot of shade of gray uh, revolving around who was able to maybe open and who was not. The answer is nobody. If your state, if, you, if your body of water is licensed through the state of Michigan, it's closed until the 28th. And remember, your, your, your payments were due December 31st of 2019. All of the, the uh, billing went out for your licenses back in October of 2019 and were due uh, December 31st of 2019. And as information is coming down, as you all know, you don't have the answers. We don't have the answers. Your local health department doesn't have the answers. And Eagle doesn't have the answers yet because they haven't been given them. Eagle is providing our governor with information that they're gathering from other states, from the CDC, so that she can make the best decision for the state of Michigan moving forward when it comes to swimming pools. So the information is not at the Eagle level yet to pass down to the counties to then pass down to you, the owners, yet. We don't know what that is going to look like yet. Hopefully, by the end of this month, we will begin and our governor will have a clearer picture as to how public amusement is going to be handled in the state of Michigan moving forward. But those answers are not available yet. And along those lines, next Wednesday we were informed by Eagle that that the heads of all of the state DEQs, you know, Eagle for us, all of those 
people are having a meeting. A 50 state, you know, everybody's involved with the, with the CDC, who, by the way, if you look on Michigan Pool News, we will post the CDC actually does have guidelines out there for public swimming pools, spas, and splash pads right now. We'll post that link um, for you guys to click. But they're, they're meeting in a webinar next week on Wednesday to, to discuss this and try and provide some more finite guidance for states because we're all in different parts of the uh, of the shutdown, right? We're all in different phases. So I think that's about all we got now. I want everybody to know that your pool's opening this year. One way or another, we're gonna get swimming pools open this year. Michigan's in a good spot. We're, we're, we're flattening the curve. Good things are happening. And uh, as soon as we have more information, we'll be sure to post it. Thanks for uh, watching Michigan Pool. Stay safe.